don't penalize farmers for the carbon they use and not reward them for the carbon they sequester. There's so, yeah. and, we, and we absolutely have to recognize this historical mint tail. We have to do that if we want farmers to adopt more and empower them to do more. We have to recognize that mint tail, whether we go back to 2015 or to 2010. You know, we can pick an arbitrary date, but we just have to do that. And because uh, farmers are investing money and just like to buy a new air seeder to do this kind of mint tail, it's a million dollars. Who's going to pay for that? You know, they expect to make it off the price of canola. Uh, you know, there's, there's other things there. You know, we, I represent thousands of farmers across Canada that are, we're investing in building a new nitrogen plant. And every, you know, there's a big target on nitrogen because of, of its uh, emissions. But you know, we're looking at building a plant with green ammonia. You know, these are the things that farmers are doing to be proactive. Off, you know, they're putting up seed capital money to do all the, all the engineering and design work. Millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars to try and improve the use of fertilizer because there's a big target on nitrogen in the back and farmers are scared. Oh, you're going to make me use less nitrogen. Well, I don't think we need to use less nitrogen. We need to use it smarter. But to use it more smarter, then you've got to produce a better quality product, and you have to have the equipment to apply it. This all takes money. So we've got to find the rewards for them so they can get paid for the good things they're doing so that they can reinvest it, because the farmer will reinvest it. We know that. That's where they like to spend their money. They like to spend it on their farm and improve their farm. So I think every dollar we spend uh, passes Main Street seven times, I think they say. So... Let's invest in Canada and invest in our farmers.